welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would talk tonight about the Gap Options newsletter. Some people don't know that I have this newsletter. If you're interested in becoming a successful trader, you can do it many ways. Swing trading, day trading, options trading, okay? Long-term investing, I really wouldn't call trading. That, that takes a long time. That's like if you would be investing money for your retirement. I'm talking about actively taking money out of the market on a regular basis. If that's something that you're looking to do, you might be interested in trading options. You have to really think about what's your goal. <coughs> Excuse me. Is your goal to make money every day, every week, every month? Are you trying to save money for something that you want to buy? Are you just wanting to add on to your current income? Or do you want to do this for a career or something that you're going to take very seriously and, and, and really wanting to change careers? So let's talk about what is an option. For those of you that don't know, a stock option is a contract which conveys to its holder the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell shares of the underlying security at a specified price on or before a given date. This right is granted by the seller of the option. There are two types of options, calls and puts. So in the options letter, I call calls and puts. It's very, very simple. Okay, I just say buy the call at this strike, at this date, buy the put at this strike and date. All right. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm looking at my own system for the golden gap, rating the gap, and then making the call for the option based on that, the gap rating. Okay, if it rates 20 points or more per my 26 point rating system. So do you need margin to do options? No, it's one of the reasons why it's very attractive to people, even people that have small trading accounts. You don't need margin. So you can buy a stock like Amazon without having to have a ridiculous amount of money for the margin of the buying power because Amazon's very expensive, okay? Well over $1,000, $1,600, $1,700 a share. So you won't have to be at a place where you can just pay the cost and not have to worry about the cost of the stock, the cost of the option, I mean, which I'll show you in a minute. So if you have a small account, you could do options to just do them as day trades in and out. You can scalp them. This was one example where if you scalp the trade, it, you made money. If you held it, it was a loser. There's a trade I called in NVIDIA, boom, fell, dropped. Here and here, this was to buy the put, just didn't have a follow through, but it did. It was profitable. It was just a very small amount. So if you have a small account, you could scalp the trades, okay? You really have to manage your expectations versus your goals. Again, know why you are doing this. Why are you doing this? Also, what is going on in your schedule? How much time do you have to really be looking at the trades and watching the trades and looking at the charts? Now, this one in the video worked really well. Stock closed here, gap down, dropped, fell, boom. Had the follow through, called this put. Really nice trade, went well through the dream target. 152, 151, dream target was 160. Okay, that's what the star means, the double star. Anyways, I, I said to buy the NVIDIA puts, huge trade. 167.50 worked. If you did this trade with an advanced risk, you made 6,700 bucks. A little bit more, a little bit less, depending where you got out, but a really nice trade with 159% return investment. Very nice trade. If you did this one, like I said, and held it, it was a loser. If you got out of it with an advanced risk, 300 bucks. So it was about 7% return investment. But again, I think most people held it because why wouldn't you? I mean, it looked great. It looked like it was going to go. It just didn't. So this is a this is a loser, really. Lulu had a beautiful move here. I said to buy the calls. Went again to the dream target. 140 calls. Boom. Ran up on the day. You could have even held it. But if you took it in and out of the day, 6,600 bucks with an advance risk. 122% return investment. I've had some huge calls this year. Netflix flew up here. Beautiful. Rally. Move on the Netflix. This was a quick one again, get in, get out. 352.50, strike, same week, okay? You could have turned it around 100%. Paying six, I mean, uh, paying 10 for six contracts, sold it for 20, 6,000 profit. And this is, again, you would have had to spend $6,000, but it, it was a really nice gap. I mean, I used my system, again, to rate the gap, going back to the chart to determine if this is gonna hold. Your goal should be 100%. So I say, you know, you're up 100%. You might want to get out of it on that same day. Some take a day, some take two. Then called the queues, called a lot of trades in the market that have just been amazing. Called the 162 calls. Uh, beautiful move. Ran up. Huge one. 233% profit, 9,800. Risking 4,200. Nice move. And again, 
risk less if that's all that you could afford. The cost of this was 60 cents. You could have taken a big size in this. You could have taken 10 and risked 600 bucks and turned it around twice and made over $1,200. So you, you, you take what you can afford in the cost. This was a great cost for this. Whenever I see these ones like this, I'm like, woo, where you can, you know, get them really cheap. Cat was a loser. Called the put, but it was late. Late on the call and then didn't follow through, which I thought that it would. So this one just didn't work out. Uh, the 120 or 122 puts, so whatever you risked on this was a bust. IBM worked. Beautiful move. Nice rally. Took a little while to go, but did. I mean, you could still be in this, but I don't know why. Rally. This was to buy the calls. Cost 160. Sold 280. Profit 3600. Risking 4800. Another nice trade. 57%, but it was getting towards the near end time. And, it, it, I mean, it had as much of a move it was going to have. It ran up. Almost hit 140. Not quite. Then called another one here. I've just been calling so many calls of the market, and they've just been beautiful. I mean, they've been working. Uh, the 163 calls ran up. Boom. 187% return on investment, 11250 Then called Starbucks. This was a call, too. Ran up, made a new high. Again, great call to buy the 68 calls. Turned it around. 66% return on investment. Could have called that out longer. It had a bigger move, but, you know. You never know. Still a very profitable trade. Then called this one here, which is still going. The QQQs. 170 calls. Even though it went through it, you could be out. It could have made money. It was a nice move, but it's still out for a while. And the SPY, 272 calls. Again, you could be out of this too. This is a very good trade, but again, still going. So, you know, it's up to you. So you could be out of this. You could be out of these two trades. So let's take a look. Q, Starbucks, Cat was a loser. NVIDIA was a loser. Rest of them were winners. And again, two, two still going. Seven winners, two losers. 43,370 of these ones here. And again, you could be out of the SPY. You could be out of the Qs. There was, a, there was another one I called. I didn't even get time to stick in here today that I just called. Uh, the, I've just been calling a lot of trades. And they're all working and uh, except for one or two. And, you know, that's why you, you say, well, this is how much I'm going to risk. And if it doesn't work, then, then it doesn't work. So, I mean, I prefer, and I think it's better, to hold something till it gets the momentum, the volatility, and the move. Now, so like I said, some people like to get in and out quick. But if you want to make 100%, 150, 200%, you got to hold them. you got to give them a chance. You can't kill it right away as if it doesn't go the first day. You want to make real money, you've got to give the trades a chance. And that's why you can't risk more than you're, uh, you can afford to lose. So it's one strategy, no margin account required. Benefits of trading options versus equity trades is what? No margin requirements. Perfect for people that don't have an, an active day trading account where they need margin or, or perfect for people that have a small account. No day trading margin requirements. Only cost is the price you pay for the trade. You can make active money trading just like equity trades and you can make a good return on investment. So options are a way to make money if you cannot be in the live trading room daily. And there's no prerequisites. You must take the Golden Gap course to be in my live trading room. You don't have to have done anything to sign up for the letter. So we discuss trading plan ideas in the Golden Gap uh, options course if you want to learn that. But I suggest to people to figure out your own plan before you do the trades. How much do you want to risk? Do you want to hold it? How much do you want to get out at? 50%, 100%, the target. You know, you have to decide. But you really have to know what works for you and what doesn't. And part of that is knowing yourself, really. So there's no prerequisites for this letter. It's the Gap Options newsletter. It's a one-year subscription for a five grand. It's $49.99 a year, U.S. dollars. You can sign up anytime. I suggest signing up as soon as possible, though, because I've had some beautiful calls. Some people just signed up for the letter in the last week and have already paid for the letter for the year. I've had some really nice trades. And again, they could be... In the, I could call them in the pre-market, in which case you take them then into the open. I, I've even called some in the after hours, but again, you, you take them the next morning. And I could call them anywhere throughout the day. So you get the trade to your email. It gets emailed to you. You take the trade when you get it. And then you manage it yourself and you have to watch it. Okay? Any questions about this letter, email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. It's earnings season. We're going to have some more really nice calls. I wouldn't wait. And if you have questions, you can call me, 929-3200-GAP. And again, no prerequisites. 
It's a good way to save up money for the Golden Gap course if you've been thinking about doing it, or if you don't have time to trade in the room Monday through Friday, uh, you can do the options while you're at your job or whatever and, and, uh, and manage them and look and check the prices of the symbols uh, through your app, okay? Have a great night, everyone.